Hello there everybody and welcome back to another episode of Terraria Mods Development. In this episode we are covering the final part of the boss. That is the summon item, the treasure bag and certain uh, NPC link. So I've already written all the code. I'm going to try and see if this video is going to be better if I write them writing the code as I go along I'll just explain why. so let's start with the boss bag so if you don't know a normal mode and not expert mode uh, treasure bags are items that drop from bosses expert these tend to have uh, these offer dev armor and items and expert uh, only items and whatnot treasure bags are better than making the npc drop all the loot as it all spawns in your inventory straight away once you've opened the bag so let's cover what you need to do First of all, just create a normal item uh, using these numbers here. Then you want to do item.expert equals true. So this is an expert only item. Then boss bag npc equals mod.npc, then your boss name. You need to make it so you know what uh, npc is. Uh, just want to do public override can right click and just turn true don't really need to do anything else with this because treasure bag and public override open boss bag then all the boss bags in the game start with player dot uh try getting dev armor this is of course optional but expert mode offer so this just gives dev armor then if you want to make it so have a chance to spawn an item this is a one in three chance or one in four i don't remember i think it's one in three anyway uh then you do main.van.next and the number you want zero then if that is true then you go player.quick spawn items so this will make it so the item spawns in the inventory and if it does, if it can't fit in the inventory, it'll just jump to the floor. Mod dot item type. Then I've just done store your bar. Uh, player dot quick spawn. You use. Make sure you get something. You can also use item ID. I. Can you? And let's just make it drop. Um, make you drop anything if you want to drop more just simply add a comma and then the number that's all you need for the boss bear let's go over to our summon item uh, first thing you want to do is set up your item again but the use style you want to use is four. you want to make sure the use animation is less than the use time do not make these equal otherwise there's a chance that uh, boss will spawn Twice. then you want the public override can use item now what i've done is i bring down uh, just some notes here. like uh, if you want your boss spawn only if you've defeated certain enemies you can use mpc down to queen b or mpc down so what I've just done here is put a bolt next to them just so it's easy. So, and for wall of flesh there isn't an npc dot down wall of flesh, it's simply main dot hard mode as hard mode starts after defeating wall. So you do return any of these and do all of them if you say wish in which case you Oh lord. 
uh, yeah. You also want to make sure the NPC doesn't exist, but I this bit of code here will make check if it does exist. So if uh, ball already exists in NPC dot any NPCs, then the mod or NPC type our tutorial boss. And then for this boss, I am returning uh, if it hasn't already spawned, whereas if this is true, it will not be able to spawn. Uh, there's also a little code here that shows a way of doing multiple uh, in testing. I'm just doing public override bull use item. With this, it will only run if this has returned true. Then we've got npc dot spawn on player player dot who am I? So the call in player. And then the boss that we are calling. See we are calling. And this will spawn the boss at a distance from the player. You will spawn on. Then you want to do main dot play sound. Sound ID uh, dot raw at the place position, and then you want to return true. That's pretty much all you need for the items. Let's jump over to the tutorial boss. First thing you want to do is add this line here boss bag mod dot item type tutorial boss bag just so the boss will drop the bag. Otherwise, oh, it's 10. And then you want to go down to your NPC loot. You want to first check if it is expert. If main dot expert, and if it is expert mode, just put NPC dot drop boss bag. Otherwise, you can do the chance drops by using item dot new item x y rip and height of the NPC, and return the item. Uh, Again, you can stack issue stack make a drop of six. I'm not going to. And then here you see I have a bit of code tutorial world stop down to tutorial boss. So much like uh, all the existing bosses have a downed boolean that we also won't run for bosses that we might add later on. So go over to your tutorial world and there's quite a bit of code you need to buy. Start off with this public static bool down to tutorial boss equals false. Then public override initialize down to tutorial boss equals false. And I've just realized into recording this I've got the whole um apologize for it's only just a curse. Anyway, in the initialize, you want to do down tutorial boss equals false. So make sure this is if some is the set to true. Uh, then public override tag compound save. This is where we want to save the variable here. So bar down equals a new list of string, and then we want to add uh, a key to each of these. Um, in this case, it's tutorial, which will just have tutorial boss. So if we have downed tutorial boss, then we add this key to this list. So, uh, then we want to return a new tag compound with the key of down and the value of this list, which is down. Next, you want to load, be able to load it. It's a public override load. Do var down equals tag dot get list. Tag is, and that will take in string because it's string, and we want the key here. Then you want to do down to tutorial boss equals down dot contains. Sorry. Now the dot can, the, the, the dot contains will return either true or false depending off 
depending on if uh, this list contains also the load legacy which is a different method of loading and I recommend this here is it uh, a bit different but we'll cover what all the of what this is in so next we need to handle the multiplayer stuff so net send bits byte flags equals new bits byte then you just want to do flags with an index of zero equals down boss uh, if you have more than one just do flags increment one equals whatever your other down bosses then do write it up right flags and then net the save and do bits bytes flags equals reader dot read byte then down to tutorial boss equals flags zero and that's pretty much everything you need remember that all this source code is going to be on the github if i ever remember to load it so let's open up the game and the let's open our tester and I've created an expert world for this let me just set myself to god mode let me just move somewhere that will not lag while I'm doing this quite a distance okay. and let's get our summon item which is that is just a recolor of the I let's do this because it's a weapon to kill it and let's spawn in because we're in god mode we can just simply stand here and kill it I'm thinking I might need to change my video settings slightly when I'm recording because it's a bit laggy not too much of a problem but as you can see as soon as we defeat it it drops the treasure bag because we're in expert mode all you need to do now is right click to open it and as you can see we got a tutorial bar which was the one in three chance to drop in and we also got the hallow here and to show that you can't spawn multiple Rose and I has awoken and I'm, as you can hear, I'm tapping my mouse button to try and use it, but I can't. And that's how you create a boss. So that's finishing the uh, uh, main basics for the boss. We've covered the AI NPC loot. We've covered, I don't even remember, setting up the boss, uh, summon item, treasure bag. And... Uh, in the future i might do more complex uh bosses like bosses with parts similar to skeletron uh having hands which are their own npc which are attached to boss they have their own ai and we'll be using that so uh all the source code is going to be on the github be sure to check that if you have issues because it does get annoying if you've gotten to use a bit of code and you're like oh the i'm getting an error blah 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 but honestly i cannot answer any issues unless i can see the code so just check over the github before uh asking me and if you do ask please use haste bin it just makes my life easier and check in so thank you everyone for watching hopefully this has been helpful if you like this way of doing videos 
where I'm just explaining the code. Uh, let me know if you prefer me actually typing out the code while we're doing the tutorial. Uh, let me know. This was more a test to see what people thought. But until next time, thank you for watching and goodbye.